Well, hey, y'all are this afternoon. This is your buddy George Jones over at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on... Hey, I got this old used gun. The old used gun I got today is a dandy. It's a genuine old used gun. This is the high standard HD military. Now, the high standard is a, a um, 22 automatic pistol that the... Originally, it was under government contract. They made them from 1942 to about 1956. They made quite a bit of them during the Second World War. This one is not a military production because it doesn't have any military proof marking on it at all. So I think this is probably a commercial from the late 1940s or 50s. Uh, the HD was originally created to be a 45 ACP 1911 control you know gun where they could use 22 caliber ammunition to teach people to use the 1911 as a precursor to actual gun training uh we've got old target up down here at 15 yards we're going to give this guy a try and uh, see how it actually shoots i think this gun was made about 1947 so you know it's it's pretty old gun it's getting pretty close to being a 70 year old gun but it's in excellent condition, and I thought I'd give it a try. Well, all right, uh, let's get a magazine in it. Goes in there nicely. I want to sit back, exterior hammer. Let me get me some ear mufflers on. This is going to be loud. I'm going to shoot the HD at the top target, and I'm going to shoot the uh, I'm going to shoot a Ruger for comparison at the bottom target. Well, let's give it a try and see how it actually shoot it takes. Get that. There we can about halfway see that gun. There you go. Oh, there we go. That's cinematography right there. All right, here we go. Whoops, that would be Winchester Super X fail again. All right, since we had a failure, it's got a heel catch on it. Comes out of there. Load that guy back up and we'll try it again. These magazines for these guns, if you've got one of these guns, these magazines are getting extremely hard to find original. And you know, there's a there's an aftermarket magazine for it. It's about 50 bucks. So let's see how many we got here. Looks like we got about eight. It's not exactly what you call a high, fast reload. All right. Let's go back up here again. Just can't get it up here. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right, let's do a little comparison. I've got the 50 year anniversary RST Mark II. Let's shoot one through it and see how the, see how the marksmanship compares between the two guns. Another magaziner, another ammunition feeding device in the gun. All right, folks, let's 
Let's go down and look at it. Let me hope I get out of this chair. Oh. Now I get my cardio walking back and forth this target. That's about right. About what I normally do. I think I shot 18 rounds out of that gun. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, maybe 16 rounds. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 bullseyes. So that's not too shabby considering the age of that gun. We don't actually know how much it's been shot. Uh, oof, I have an entourage today. And I don't know how much it's actually been shot. Oh, let's talk about the value of this thing for a minute. Uh, this is a non-government issue mark, so it's commercial, made sometime after 1945. Uh, I'm a thinking sometime in the late 1940s. It has about 90% condition. There's some wear on the high spots. Um, you know, there's not any deep scratches or gouges. Uh, the gun is in perfect mechanical condition. I think there's a little gouge on the grip over here, but it's very minuscule. It has the correct magazine with it. Uh, appears to be original grips and they are cut checkered. Um, I grade this gun at 92-96%, um, and I give the value of this particular gun as it sits somewhere in the neighborhood of $450 to $500. Uh, they are very collectible and very highly sought after guns. Well, that's about the size of it for this installment on I got this old used gun. Like, take, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. Leave me a dollar in the Patreon bucket if you want to. And if you don't want to, I keep right on making content for you. Um, it is the 21st of March, and I get my first COVID shot tomorrow. Um, let's keep being careful during these goofy, dangerous times. I don't think it's as bad as they let on, but I think there is danger. Uh, if you see trouble in the streets, just turn around and go the other way. Uh, if it follows you and corners you, then you can do something about it, okay? Uh, we'll see y'all when we see you. God bless everyone and join the NRA. We'll see you now.